Hey everyone, it's a busy Wednesday. Let's go over some sports. Let's go over Wednesday's predictions in the algorithm for NBA, NHL, and college basketball. Quick look at NBA here. Um, basically, what we've got is a couple underdogs up top, which is kind of interesting, especially this Knicks over the Nuggets. Um, so far, a healthy Knicks team at plus 145. Atlanta, once again, as an underdog here against the Celtics, and it's at home. They're also healthy here. And you got some injuries on the Cavs, and sort of could be a close game between the Thunder and the Wizards, but also an underdog line here. So I do see three underdogs playable here. Um, and, you know, the Pacers and the Hornets, not that bad either, although they are injured. But really, it's the Knicks, the Hawks, and the Thunder look to be your best bets here based on injuries. Thunder are a little injured though, so we'll have to check the injury report later in the day, but there are a few picks on there. Let's talk about a shorter day in hockey. Three games, and I think they're almost all underdogs. It's like like LA over Edmonton here at plus 125. Thinks that Buffalo can beat Ottawa at plus 145, and then a closer game between St. Louis and Chicago. Um, Chicago has the potential to beat them by raw strength, but St. Louis is streaking better, and Chicago is just not a great team this year. Solar Bloom and Net does have a decent ranking. Might have a tie here in this game, actually. So that's that. It was a brutal day for hockey yesterday. I mean, oh, my gosh, my picks got crushed. It's terrible. Um, let's talk about college basketball, where there were some interesting things yesterday. So looking at yesterday's results, I have them sorted descending by money line, biggest underdogs on top. And what's interesting about this look is look at how many teams we have that cover the spread. This is a sign that the algorithm's current year stats were doing some just positive things when it comes to predicting the games. Because not all these teams won, obviously, but the home teams actually had a really good day that were up here. Prairie View wins at, at you know, plus 600. Uh, App State wins. That's an away team, though. Nevada, Las Vegas wins at home. UC San Diego wins at home. Um, I mean, you can look at this by home teams by doing it like this in the same order of lines. And you can see, look at that. that, that that's good. That's a great, great, um, you know, even if you had four of these on here on a round robin going three and one with these lines is excellent. So that, that was kind of good to see. And, and I'm happy to see that. Even uh, prior year stats actually had a good day. So let's look at this back like this. But look at all these spreads here. This is 10 of the top 12 win. And if you took underdog, um, uh, if you took the spread on every single underdog, you go, what is that, uh, 10 and 3? Yep, 10 and 3 with all those underdogs here. That's, that's really good. So let's talk about today. Let's hide this and talk about today, which is here at the bottom. Compile this. Now we're going to freeze this right here and we'll just look at it. Um, now we'll freeze it. Well, that makes it easier to look at. View, freeze up to row 31. Get rid of this. So looking at today, what we have is once again, we're sorted by line um, descending. Florida Gulf Coast is, is on the road at this plus 1400. So it's just something about the season stats that's putting them up top. But, you know, that Tennessee, I think, had a really rough start so far this year. So that that's really a shot in the dark. But maybe the 21 points is reasonable, given that Tennessee's not playing great so far this year. More away teams, more away teams. You see a home team here with Detroit at plus 115 against Ohio. And then Idaho and Canisius, both underdogs. But you can see we're starting to get less and less and less to choose from here this year. What does this look like? Let's put the filters on so people can use the filters here and sort this. And then you guys will be on your way. Let's see, how do we do this? We go to view. There's a, sorry, data. There's a filter that's already on. So I'm going to remove the filter that was already on the other games. And then you add the filter here by highlighting this stuff, data, create filter. And that does work. So now when you have this filter here, you can say, all right, I want to look at this instead of by underdogs, I want to look at it by margin. And you see the teams on top that thinks they're going to win. And are there any good lines? There is this Canisius game all the way up here. So that, that's a pretty big one. They're home. It's even money. They have a 24% margin. So this is one of those games that's probably pick of the day material right there.
and Idaho is a 19% margin also. Those are, those, are, those are fairly good picks today. So um, that is the update. I am tired. There's a lot of games, a lot of tracking. I, I'm definitely, I definitely have to stop this at the end of November and do a bunch of other accounting work that I do at the end of the year. So I cannot keep doing this every day, guys. It is just, it is a life commitment. Um, but I will be selling copies of the algorithms that you can uh, that you can update yourself and, and through the video tutorials I have so that you can continue to operate this even when I'm not doing a Google Sheet every day. All right. Good luck, everybody. May all your picks be winning.